let's face it, the basic product sorting options in WooCommerce kind of suck. And if you're here, you're probably looking for a better way to organize your products on your shop page. In a moment, I'll show you how to set up a product table using one of our plugins that allows you to sort products in any way you like and includes extra filter and search options. But first, let me show you why WooCommerce's default sorting is so limited. Here I have a default shopping page set up on WooCommerce. You are able to get this drop-down list for the customer. So for example, they can sort by popularity or price low to high. But again, these are very restrictive. You can choose how products are sorted, but there's no option to select the sort order except in the case of price, low to high, but all of these are set by default to ascending. And these options don't improve the layout of your products or present them in a way that allows for easy sorting or comparisons by your customers. So I would like to suggest for you a possible solution, which is the WooCommerce product table plugin from Barn2. Now this plugin comes packed with sorting features. Right away, you can see that each of these arrows allows the customers to sort by each of the columns, for example, the name, the category, the reviews, or the price. And they have further ways to shuffle through and sort the products using the category options. For example, they can sort by category. They can even sort by subcategory, for example, hoodies, shirts, or t-shirts. Finally, there is a search feature. So if they're looking for something in particular, they can find it that way. It also includes a quantity picker, which is really handy in case they wanna buy multiple items. And these buy buttons allow customers to select a bunch of products at once and add them to their cart. So you can see how the table provides a better layout, allowing customers themselves to set the sort order and what they want to sort by. And there's further options too, which I'll show you later on in the video. Now the WooCommerce product table is a premium plugin, so you'll need to go to barn2.com to purchase and download it. Once you've got your download zip file, come over here to plugins and click on add new, upload plugin, and upload the zip file into this space here. And once you've installed the plugin, it'll take you to the setup wizard. First thing in the setup wizard is just make sure you have an active license key. Next, we're gonna choose where to display the WooCommerce product table. And for now, we're going to replace the shop page and the categories page for your store. But if you don't do this, you'll just have to create a separate page for your product table using a short code. And these are the default columns. I'm gonna leave these how they are, but we can change or remove any of these later if we want to. Our add to cart method can be checkboxes or cart buttons or both. I'm gonna leave it as checkboxes and we'll show a quantity picker for each product like I showed you in the table earlier. Now variations should be drop down lists and we'll go next. For filters, we can customize those later on. So we'll leave them as custom. All right, now that the setup wizard is complete, I just wanna show you what's happened to our shop page here. You can see that our shop page has now updated to the table like I showed you before, but let's see how we can customize some of these columns. So for example, right now we have image, name, categories, reviews, price, and buy. But I would like to get rid of this reviews column because none of my products actually have reviews at the moment. So to do that, I'll go into the settings page and I will actually look here, scroll down to table content and find the column which says reviews and remove that along with the comma, scroll down to the bottom and save those changes. Now, when we view the same shop page after refreshing, we can see that the reviews column has been removed and we're left with just the other columns. Now, there are dozens of other columns, including custom columns that you can add to the table. And you can read more about that in our knowledge base, which I will link below in the description. Now, what about what's going on here with the category selection tags and color. How do we customize that? So if we go back to our settings page and we scroll down to search and filter, we can see the product filters are set to custom at the moment. We can set them based on the table content 
or we can use the custom option and select the custom filters down here. I don't really have any tags for my product, so I'm gonna remove that right now. And the attribute color is good, but I'm gonna show you how it looks if I use the attribute for size. And once again, save those changes and see what that looks like here. Now we've changed our filter to size and we have large, medium, or small, depending on how many sizes your products contain. But I think I'm getting a little bit off track here. We're here to talk about sorting your products and reorganizing how they are sorted on this table. So let's go back into the table settings and see how we do that. From the product table settings, we're going to scroll all the way down to sorting and choose something that you would like to sort by. If you choose something like name, SKU, or price, this is all easy to set up, A to Z, or Z to A, 1 to 99, etc. If you select other, you can specify which product table column you'd like to sort by. In other words, you can create a custom sorting order for your WooCommerce products. So here, I'm just going to give you an example of category, and we'll leave that sorting A to Z. Now I'm gonna save those changes. Very good. Now you can see the categories are sorted A to Z with the accessories first and then clothing and extras and so on. Now this other option allows you to sort products by any column in the table, but keep in mind this only works if the lazy load is disabled like this. The available columns include SKU, ID, name, description, and many more, which you can find in our blog linked below in the description. Here's a little bonus tip for you. You can even choose the exact position of each item using the menu order, which is set up from the WooCommerce products admin panel. And here, if you click on sorting, then you can literally click and drag to move the items around and you can choose the exact order in which they will appear. And all you have to do from here is go back to WooCommerce settings, products, product tables, scroll down and make sure that the sort by order is WooCommerce default. Then update those changes, go back to your table, refresh. And now you can see that the products are in the order that I set on the back end. Now, the cool thing is there's not just one product table for your whole website. You can create many different product tables, for example, for all your different product categories. Now, we can use this to create different tables which are sorted in different ways. So I've created a couple of pages here on my website. One is for the clothing category, and you can see that this one is sorted by menu order. When I go into edit page, you'll see that I built this using a short code which we have plenty of information about, but you can basically just copy and paste this. So this is the product table shortcode with the columns, image, name, summary, price, and buy, with the category being clothing, and the sort by menu order with the sort order being ascending. So putting it all together, this is how we get our table, which looks like this. Now I also made one just for t-shirts and the shortcode is going to look similar here, but you can see that this one has the category for t-shirts and the sort by is set to price. So that way I can have clothing sorted one way and t-shirts sorted another way. And I just have to set up a couple of pages for each of them. So I hope I've shown you today how many different sorting options you have using the WooCommerce product table plugin from Barn2. If you want to test it out for yourself, it is linked below in the description and it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. So feel free to test it out and see if it's right for you. And if you're looking for even more sorting and filtering options, then check out this video about our WooCommerce product filters plugin, which adds even more ways for customers to narrow down their hunt for the perfect product.